Every year, thousands of animals all over the world are the victims of human cruelty. People need to be educated and animals need to be protected, since a lot of people are insensitive about the plight of animals. In today's video, I'm going to show you an incredible man who saved thousands, if not hundreds of animals in Gambia. Gambia is a small country in Western Africa and a former British colony. It has a high level of poverty and there are many stray animals roaming the streets. After having vacationed in Gambia and noticing that there was not a single veterinary clinic for small animals and pets in there, Dr. Michael Meyer decided to take a risk and loaded up his van with used equipment and drove to Gambia where he and local veterinarian Dr. Bakery Toure co-founded their clinic in 2009. Dr. Michael Meyer is a German vet from Berlin. He's a volunteer in South Africa. By then, you can already foresee his passion and dedication with animals. He and his partner built a charity vet clinic to help local stray animals. Parallel to providing services to the local population, the clinic offers free spaying and neutering of stray dogs and cats in an effort to reduce their numbers. Hurt, sickly, and mistreated animals receive additional care and are often placed into foster homes until they're well. All animals are deserving of a life free from fear and pain. Many efforts are made to stop the spread of disease. To raise awareness for the clinic's efforts, Dr. Michael Meyer, known affectionately as Micah, records videos of his patients, the procedures, and of life in Gambia, and it's pretty awesome. These videos can be viewed on YouTube channels Vet Clinic Gambia and Cordylobia Anthropophaga. The most popular videos involve the removal of ticks in Cordylobia Anthropophaga, referred to more commonly as mango worms, wherein many YouTubers use it as a reference to, and of course, including myself as well. At the same time, he introduced me to the world of Gambia. I saw people, some houses, traditions, and this is amazing. Indeed, the country is poor, but he found his special way just to show how it is. He's a very positive person. He never judges. He just fights for the animals and educates their owners. Micah's two assistants, who both go by the name of Fatu, are also popular with the audience. In fact, they have many supporters, both local and abroad. All of them together with Dr. Micah have such warm hearts with the animals in Gambia that people adore them all. One of the best videos he's shared with us is the mango worms extraction on the animals. Mango worms in humans are also common, with hundreds of videos of their removal from human flesh, and it's gross to watch how much more to these furry animals whom I don't think have an owner or someone who are taking care of them. Gambia has uncountable mango worm infested animals, especially dogs, with new cases of mango worms emerging from cats and squirrels as well. And Dr. Micah really did a great job helping this animal. He also explains how these animals get infected, how to treat them as well as he educates how people should handle these animals. A tiny puppy has hundreds of worms squeezed from his skin after being rescued by terrified tourists in Gambia. Dr. Micah explains that mango worms are a common problem in stray animals. They are the strays that spend their lives on the streets in Gambia with nobody to care for them. But thankfully, this six-week-old puppy is given the care it needs after concerned passers-by spotted that it was riddled with parasites. The distressed animal is seen whimpering as it has hundreds of worms squeezed from under its skin. The puppy was brought after a German expat spotted it on the streets of Sukuta and realized it needed treatment. Mango worm infestations caused by the mango fly laying eggs and larvae growing under the skin of animals is a key problem in Gambia. In another video, this young visitor in particular was lucky to be picked up by the caring vets after becoming riddled with thousands of these maggots. Squeezing out the worms measuring between three to four millimeters in diameter, Dr. Micah films the procedure as the puppy whimpers in the background. With one woman counting in the background, the video shows 50 worms being squeezed from the distressed puppy's leg in the space of just a couple of minutes. The vet then moves on to release more worms from the puppy's stomach and other legs. According to him, they are very common in Gambia. Every dog gets them sooner or later. Usually the infestation is not bad. Adult dogs can stand up to 100 maggots without being seriously affected. You will see or feel a lump under the skin and have to squeeze it out once the maggot is three to four millimeters in diameter. To squeeze before that won't work as the maggot has spikes that it uses to hold on to its host and it takes time in order to get rid of them on the skin of their host. They have to come out, that's the only way. Either when they're ready and fully developed by themselves, 
or by the owner slash caretaker before that. The Charitable Veterinary Surgery aims to educate and raise money to tackle issues in Gambia by uploading the videos to YouTube, where the surgeons and assistants have a loyal group of followers. He is such an amazing veterinarian, and he has done so much for so many there. But suddenly, everything changes. Dr. Micah decided to go back to Germany for his family, for his boys. Dr. Micah won't be there anymore, and Fatu is one of the most trusted persons he could have there to continue their work, and including the new in charge. The journey of Vet Clinic Gambia stops there. Now, it's been three years since the last video that Dr. Micah uploaded, and it's sad. No updates and even any information is being shared if the clinic is still operating. But you know, whatever happens there right now, still the legacy and what Dr. Micah and his team did to those people and animals in Gambia will always remain unforgettable. His compassion is so obviously genuine. Humans are sometimes cruel, but if animals could speak, they would tell Dr. Micah, thank you. Last update on Dr. Micah. He's in Germany with his family, and with his animals and his beautiful farm. He seems really happy and his love of animals is pretty evident. You can check his new channel, Michael Meyer, for more of his journey. Dr. Michael Meyer is indeed one of the best veterinarians I know and will always follow. He doesn't just help and treat animals, he also educates, fosters, and gives these animals homes. If you also want to take a part in saving animals, take inspiration from him. He's pretty good at that. All right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Do smash that like button if this video is to your liking. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if this is the sort of video that you like to watch. See you soon in the next one. Thanks for watching, and take care.